Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and create a solution for a problem in hand. So let me open a PDF and show you the problem. Each and every PDF in this document library out here has got barcodes. What I need to do is I want to get into the PDF, extract the barcode, rename the file and store it in another folder. So that being said, I was trying to use the out of box Microsoft Actions, but I had no luck. So I came across the Aquaforest PDF connector, which can help me get barcode values from the files. So now that I have a connector or now that I know that I can use a connector to extract barcode, let's create a solution. For this demo, I'm going to create a manual flow because I need to run it once, right? Let's consider that I have not only two files, I have millions of files out here, right? Or at least thousands of files, let's not say millions. So what I can do is I want to go ahead and iterate through the files, extract the barcodes and rename them. So the first thing I need to do is get into the SharePoint and get files. So to this action, I'm going to go ahead and pass in the site URL and my library name. The next thing that I need to do is I need to go back to the documentation and see what are the mandatory fields. The mandatory fields are the file content and the file name, the location, right? We can look at it later and also the template and no barcode template, right? We will get into these things later. But what we can do as of now, focus on the file content because if you need to go ahead and extract the barcode, you need to pass in the file content. So here I'm passing in the file content. Again, I'll select the library and at this point, I'll click on FX dynamic value and I'll pass it the identifier. So here is a problem, right? Identifier or the get file properties action actually returns you an array. But what I have seen in the modern or the new designer is that it does not automatically decorate into an array. So what I'm going to do for the time being is I'll say barcode, extract barcode demo, I'll give it a meaningful name and I'll go ahead and save my flow, right? I want to switch back to the old designer and I'll show you what really happens. So I'll switch back to the old designer. Firstly, it screams at me, it tells me to reload, so fine. Let me reload it and I'll again click. You see, it goes ahead and creates some junk out here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this action and let me re-add the same action, right? And you'll see the difference. And to this action, I'm going to pass it a site name and I'll pass it the identifier. As soon as I pass the identifier, it decorates it into an apply to each loop. And that should be the case, but it doesn't happen in the new designer. Okay, understand that. So next is where the real magic happens. I'll add the aqua forest PDF action. And the action that I'm interested in is the get barcode value. So I will click on it. Here I'll pass in the file content and here I'll pass in the file name. So file name with extension. Now that I have the file name, the next step would be to go ahead and create the file back in my SharePoint. So I'll click on SharePoint and I'll type in create file. Right, so create, oops, not this action. Quickly going to add the create file. I'll give it a site name. I'll give it a folder path. So let me go ahead and select a folder, barcode destination folder. So next I'm going to give it the file name. Understand this, the file name is the output of the get barcode value action and I'll put in .pdf. And here I will pass it the file content, right? So file content. I'll save my flow. And let's go ahead and test the flow and see if we get the desired output. So our flow is running. It has got all the files in an array. Next, it will try to get the file content and then it will try to get the get barcode values, right? But our flow failed. Our flow failed in the create file action. 
And the error is the file name or folder contains invalid character. So let's see what the output is. The output out here is correct. It does not have invalid characters, right? Such as a pound, a asterisk, a question mark, etc. It doesn't have anything. But here I see when I try to select it, it might have a space. Right, so if you get this problem, I would recommend that you go into the create file action, type in the formula, right? So the formula is very simple. I'll take the barcode value, replace and replace a space with an empty space, like replace space with no space, right? And I'll say, okay, and I'll run it again. So let me quickly try to run it and let's hope that this works, right? So it failed the first time and understand this. This is nothing to do with the aqua forest action. It just goes ahead and extracts the value with reference to your files, right? Once it's extracted, for some reason, it has got some spacing. So all we need to do is remove the spaces from it and try to create the file back into SharePoint. So that being said, we still need to wait for the output. So please bear with it. And here, my friends, our flow has completed successfully. So let me quickly go into the folder barcode destination. And here, my friends, I have renamed the files. And if you look at it, it has gone ahead and picked up the barcode from within the file and it has renamed it. In fact, I did not know that the other file has got a barcode such as invoice with some, with some number, but it extracted it and it has written the file back. I hope this quick demo was informative. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Bye.